Hello everyone, it is your boy Sir David Attenborough here, today taking over for Animal Origins. Earth is home to some truly breathtaking wildlife, but among her majestic creatures, few manage to compare to the one I am discussing today. In this planet's most remote plains, one can catch a glimpse of a most fascinating sight, the strawberry elephant. Measuring in at four meters at the shoulder and weighing over 13,000 pounds, the strawberry elephant is a true titan among titans. This scarlet animal is adorned with the skin resembling a most popular variety of fruit, that is to say, the skin of a strawberry. But there are some lingering doubts as to the origin of such a fantastical beast. In truth, I'm not actually with the creature myself, merely recording on the side of a motor vehicle freeway. With that being said, let's dive into the speculative information surrounding this elephant. Given the general morphology of the creature, it's safe to assume that it belongs to the mammalian group Proboscidea, the group that contains the three species of living elephants. Of those three, this animal most closely resembles the African bush and forest elephants, as opposed to the Asian cousin. However, this becomes confusing when looking at the second part of this elephant, its strawberry lineage. Wild strawberries typically only grow in northern regions, such as the United States and Canada. While no living elephants live outside of Africa or Asia, there have historically been proboscidians that lived in northern regions of North America and Europe. These include the gomphotheres, which included some most dreadful-looking animals, and more recently, the mastodons and mammoths. The closest living relative of the mammoth is the Asian elephant. But that clearly conflicts with the general appearance of the strawberry elephant, which much more closely looks like the African elephant. Loxodonta, the genus containing both the bush and forest elephant, only has fossil evidence present in the African continent, this means that an ancestral species must have migrated to Asia and then to Europe and the New World, with the latter continent likely being through the Bering Land Bridge. From there, it would have hybridized with the wild strawberries present in the region, which would lead to the strawberry elephant present in the first recorded photo of the beast. It seems like a sound theory, but there's still one lingering issue. This is a wild strawberry. Putting it side by side with the strawberry elephant, we can clearly see that the strawberry aspects of this creature are far different than the wild fruit. Rather, it's more in line with our modern strawberries, which were first bred in 1750, far after the last ice age. But for this creature to be a hybrid between some Loxodonta species and the garden strawberry, that would mean that the elephant used for breeding was not native to the northern continents. As such, it's safe to assume that this hybrid was manually brought to fruition, probably by human intervention. Animal hybrids are nothing new to us, but this is far different than any other in history so far. But why would such an animal even have been created in the first place? Elephants are known to have a long gestation period compared to other ungulates that have been domesticated, so perhaps the strawberry characteristics this creature inherited made it easier to domesticate and breed. The creature could then offer many uses, from labor to being harvested for a large supply of food. However, I have an alternative hypothesis. As we already know, the major companies of this world are gaining more and more power. These vast monolithic empires are gaining control over not only their respective markets, but also public opinion and political landscapes worldwide. As these entities grow, the chances of competing interests gaining a foothold begin to dwindle significantly. Their heavy pockets allow them to beat out the competition by means of purchasing resources others would not be able to get access to. But what, you may ask, is the natural conclusion of all of this? The answer to this question is clear. The all-out destruction of our modern human infrastructure. The foundations of our civilization will crumble and we will be set back into the Stone Age. As for the strawberry elephants, these major corporations will emerge from their nuclear hibernation and use them as pack animals or something. To be honest, I don't really know. Just needed to cap off this video somewhere, and an apocalypse seemed like a fitting end. Thanks for watching my video, everyone, and Ramadan Mubarak to all my Muslim brothers and sisters.